Week one of high school football is in the books, but not all of our teams took the field. Sports director Jenna Fink joins us now in studio. So Jenna, some teams had a bye week, right? That's right, Haley and Allen. Red Bluff, one of those teams. The Spartans have extra time to prepare for their first game this Friday. Red Bluff trying to improve on last season's 3-7 and seven record. Head coach Jacob Derichek is confident for several reasons. One, the team's buy-in. Players and coaches agree this group is much closer than last season. It's also a larger team, a testament to what Derichek and his fellow coaches are building. The Spartans' defense is quick and aggressive, and offensively, Derichek says the wide receivers are ones to watch. When you have players like that, it just opens up your eyes to, oh my gosh, how can we get them the ball? Whether it's running the ball with them on the perimeter, going up, they can, they're can they all jump ball guys. They all run really good routes, and their hands are really good. And, uh, you know, they have a good connection with both of our quarterbacks. We have good route runners. We have smooth route runners, and we have uh, guys that can catch. We have guys with hands, and I think it's going to set us up great for the season. The receivers will catch passes from quarterback Micah Jackson. He dealt with a knee injury, but is ready to start. Derichek says his competitive nature and hustle is second to none. The Spartans kick things off this Friday at home against Lassen.